Hello, and welcome back to another speed build. My name is Rue, welcome to the channel. Please like and subscribe to support my channel and that I can continue to make more speed builds for the Happy Home Designer um, pack for Animal Crossing. This house is going to be Punchy's house and it's a really cute build, so hopefully you like it. And yeah, uh, enjoy the video. All right, so we are into Punchy's video. He would like a vacation home treat. He is a lazy villager um, and he's a really cute cat. Um, I don't think I've done any cats before Punchy, so this is my first cat. Um, I've been really debating on whether I want to go for an all cat island on my, like, my, my island. Um, it's been quite a um, struggle to figure out if that's really what I want to do. Um, and Punchy was low-key the inspiration for this, um, especially with how amazing this um, happy home design turned out. Got, I gave a very, very 70s vibe for Punchy, and I don't know why, um, but it really, it, we really went there with the 70s, with the w wood paneling on the wall, to the TV that we use, to the rugs we pick. It is all 70s, all the time. So hopefully you like 70s decor because it, it is screaming it. Um, I think I did this in two parts. Um, it'll be obviously one full video, but I do believe I recorded this in two different sections. Um, cause I like had to stop to do something and then I came back to it. Um, so I like switched up the vibe like pretty drastically. I think I moved the kitty litter down to the bottom left corner of the, of the room. Um, and I do love this table here. I don't know what it's called, but the table with the curtain. Um, but it's so bulky and chairs don't fit nicely in it. Um, so I don't use it all the time, but I do think I, I used it for this. Um, so it's got sort of a like mid-century with a, a zen feel as well. I'm not sure. Um, and then, yes, I did break up the two different rooms, if you will, with the wood flooring and then the cheetah print carpet. I don't know why. I just like I went saw the cheetah print with the green and I just I don't know. I loved it. Um, lots of different patterns going on here as well. Um, but I don't know. It's just a cute little cute little vibe for punchy, right? Um, we're getting a lots of little clutter going on here. This one's definitely a quick build because I did it really fast. I mean, I, I had the inspiration. I didn't fuss around. It was just like boom, 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 where I knew what I wanted for Punchy. <laughs> um, I love that the uh, cat tower is next to the couch because that's in my house. That's where my cat tower is. Um, so my cats can sit and watch TV with me or what have you. Um, we've got that little cushion there. I love the pattern of the argyle, like plaid sort of situation next to the cheetah print for some reason. I think it's really cute. Got a little music box going and same pattern. Oh, I got rid of the cushion. I think I bring it back. Um, all right, switched it to the lamp though. Um, again, these videos, um, I did these speed builds a while ago, but now I'm just getting to the voiceover. So some of this is a little bit of a surprise for me as well. So you're watching this for the first time and low key. So am I, so, <laughs> um, at least, uh, for the first time in a good bit. Um, I was loving the green vibe for punchy and I do think I want to give him a roommate at some point. I don't think I have, but maybe I'll post an update of a, roommate I decide to give Punchy and then what their house would look like with maybe with Bob or somebody. I could see Punchy living with Bob. I think that would be really cute. Um, a little retro clock, even though I don't know why that's a retro clock. It's literally like a, a robot hand, but because it said retro, that's why I put the clock there. And yeah, so now we're getting to Punchy's place outside the exterior. He's on a kind of a cliff sort of situation overlooking the water, which I kind of loved. Um, just wanted to be a little secluded 
for punchy. And then I chose apple trees for this, which I, I do really like. Just like one fruit. I think unless it's like a specific fruit theme, I think if you use too many fruit trees, it can be a little overwhelming. So yeah, now we're figuring out the pathing. We've got my favorite custom custom stone pathing, which again, I'm going to be better about and I will be linking those in the description for you guys. Um, just a cute little balloon to kind of spruce up the place. I do add the fencing because I th feel like it needed it. It just needed the separation of like where his yard started. Um, and we've got kind of like a red and blue sort of theme going on, which I love. Um, and now we're adding the blanket for sort of a little picnic vibe for Punchy. And yeah, it's looking so cute. I figured he'd come out and eat his little snacks, on, sit outside, read a book. Yep, there's a stack of books in the comic. I made them comics. Oh wait, I got rid of them. I kind of like the comics. All right, well, when I renovate, I'm gonna renovate all of these at some point because these I did like way early on before I had all the updates and everything, so. But yeah, so here we go into the slow-mo first person view of our exterior. There's Punchy in their little suit shirt, their little plaid shirt, super cute. And we're going on into the interior. I love that wreath, the hyacinth wreath. And this is the interior. We've got boxes. I imagine they're like boxes of cat litter because I know that I have like four or five boxes of cat litter that I keep just so I don't run out. So I imagine those are cat litter. And there's Aloha KK with some a fish painting and some other paintings and the retro clock with the shelves and that table that I never use, but I actually love it in this build. And we've got our shelves and I love the wood wall in the back. That turned out really nicely. So yeah, um, I hope you like this video and please be sure to like and subscribe and I'll see you guys next time.